Hello everybody and welcome to another video for our Eng 10 class. So for this one, I am going to talk about mixture problems. Okay, so this is still under applications of linear equation in one variable. Before I proceed, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Okay, so a mixture problem can involve mixing solutions containing different percent of a substance in order to obtain a solution containing a certain percent of the substance. Another kind of mixture problem for which the method of solving is similar involves mixing commodities of different values to obtain a combination worth a specific sum of money. Okay, so... We shall illustrate how this happens in the following example. To determine how many liters of a 7% acid solution and how many liters of a 12% acid solution should be mixed by a chemist to obtain 6 liters of a 10% acid solution. Okay. So basically we are mixing two kinds of uh, acid solution they have different uh, percent acid right so the first one has seven percent acid the second one has 12 percent acid and the problem is looking for the volume of these two solutions that should be mixed together okay and the total volume that will be obtained is a six liter solution at 10 percent uh, acid okay so we can understand this better seguro if uh, we shall illustrate it in a figure okay so for example uh, this is our first solution this solution has seven percent acid okay and just write it seven percent and then let us add with another solution solution that is 12 percent acid We add that, we come up with an, uh, another solution. Uh, this solution is 10% uh, acid. Okay, below, let us write the volume. Okay, So this is where our representation will come in because the volume is the unknown in this problem. So we let x, we let x be the volume of the seven percent solution okay tapos since we know that the total volume is six liters dito ilagay na natin dito six liters six liter volume so if x is the volume for the seven percent let's write here x then uh, what do you think is the volume of the 12 percent the same procedure as in the previous problem so that's six minus x liters okay this is the volume of the 12 percent acid solution to be mixed okay so the imagine okay so if there is an x liters of solution and seven percent of that is acid then the volume of acid is just uh, 0 0.07 times x right so we can actually create table just like what we did in uh, in the previous uh, type of problem in the investment problem we can create a table later okay so first uh, column this is for the uh, percent acid or say volume volume of the solution and then we have the percent acid and for the last column we have the uh, volume of acid okay so the volume the total volume this is pertaining to the total volume of the solution the total volume for the first solution is 
x right this is x the percent acid is 0.07 or 7 percent the volume is of acid is just the product of the total volume times the percent acid okay that's 0.07 times x for the second solution the total volume is 6 minus x the percent acid is uh, 0 0.12 because that's 12 percent and the volume of acid is 0 0.12 times 6 minus x okay for the total solution okay for the total solution for the total solution the total volume is 6 liters right the percent acid is 0 0.10 therefore the total volume of acids is 0 0.10 times 6 okay so our equation will come from the last column that if we add the volume of acids for the first solution and the second solution the result is the total volume of acids okay so we have 0 0.07 x plus 0 0.12 times 6 minus x that is equal to 0 0.10 times 6 okay so we have now our equation let us solve for the unknown x okay so we shall distribute the 0 0.12 so that's 0 0.07 x plus 0.12 times 6 is 0 0.72 A minus 0 0.12x is equal to 0 0.6 okay, we combine like terms so that's 0 0.07 minus 0 0.12 negative 0.05x so it's negative 0 0.05x is equal to that's 0 0.6 minus 0.72 a negative 0 0.12 we divide both sides by negative 0 0.05 the answer is 2.4 okay and then we go back we go back to our representation in the beginning x is the volume of the 7% solution okay so therefore the uh, the other one that's 6 minus x so 6 minus x is 6 minus 2.4 6 minus 2.4 is 3.6 okay so this these are in liters right so to answer the problem our conclusion should be uh, let us say 2.4 liters 2.4 liters of 7% uh, and 3.6 liters of 12 percent acid solutions acid solutions should be mixed okay so that answers the problem This is our second problem. The manager of a Starbucks store decides to experiment with a new blend of coffee. She will mix some B-grade Colombian coffee that sells for 350 pesos per kilogram with some A-grade Arabica coffee that sells for 650 pesos per kilogram to get 50 kilograms of the new blend. The selling price of the new blend is to be 500 pesos per kilogram and there is to be no difference in revenue from selling the new blend versus selling the other types. How many kilograms of the B-grade Colombian and A-grade Arabica coffees are required? Okay. Uh, the procedure in solving uh, these problems is the same with our previous example okay so basically we are mixing two different types 
of solution. In this case, we are mixing uh, two different types of coffee blend. Okay, so we have the uh, B grade and the A grade coffee. Okay, so to do this one, since the unknown is the uh, number of kilograms of the B grade Colombian and the A grade Arabica coffees, let us represent those unknowns with our variable. So we let X, yeah, let X be the number of kilograms for kilogram of the B grade Colombian coffee. Grade Colombian coffee. Okay. Since we are mixing these two to come up with a total of 50 kilograms, uh, the number of kilograms of the A grade Arabica is 50 minus X. Okay, this is for the A grade A grade Arabica. Okay. Okay, just like what we did, it's uh, uh, what we did in the previous example. Uh, our solution can be more uh, neat if we do this in a table. Okay, in the first column, the, vol the volume of uh, the coffee type. Okay, that's no, no. this is for mass. So that's mass, total mass, mass of solution. Let's just say it's a mass. Okay, for the first one, for the a B grade Colombian coffee, the mass is X and 50 minus X for the A grade Arabica. Okay, and we have the price. The price for the B grade is 350 pesos per kilogram, and the price for the A grade is 650 pesos. Okay, so the total revenue is just the product of the mass times the price per kilogram, right? If you have X kilograms of coffee and the price is 350 per kilogram, then the revenue is 350 times X or 350X. Okay, so we just multiply the mass and the price. The same is true with the second that's 650 times 50 minus X for the revenue for the total combined mass the total mass is 50 kilograms and the price is to be sold uh, 500 pesos per kilogram and the revenue just like what we did here in the first two rows this is the product of the mass and the price per kilogram that's 50 times 500 and it states in the problem that the revenue by selling that uh, two coffees separately is equal to the revenue when it is blended when they are blended together okay so that means if we add these two revenues together, we'll come up with the total revenue. That's 350x plus 650 times 50 minus x is equal to 50 times 500. Okay. Then we solve for the value of x. 350x plus so we multiply 650 times 50 is 32,500 32,500 minus 650x is equal to 50 times 500 is 25,000 we combine like terms so 350 
minus 650 is negative 300x. Uh, this is equal to 25,000 minus 32,500. That's negative 7,500. Okay, we divide both sides by negative 300. The answer is 25. Okay, so we have 25 kilograms. This is the kilogram of the B-grade Colombian coffee. Okay, so we solve for uh, the other mass. That's 50 minus X. It's 50 minus 25. It's also 25 kilograms. Okay, so our conclusion would be 25 kilogram of the B-grade. Colombian coffee and another 25 kilogram of the A grade Arabica coffee should be should be mixed together okay so that's our answer for this problem